Far Cry is here. I will show you how to create a beautiful submarine animation. Before we start, I just want to inform you that I publish a new course. So, if you want to learn more from me and support the channel, go to Gigantic Store and check out the course. Okay, let's start with the animation. I will show you how to animate the waves, the reflection of the windows, engine and bubbles. The engine is the most complicated part of the animation, so we can start with it. Ok, cool! Before I start with the animation of the engine, I will move the center point here. The pen behind tool will be perfect for that. Just hold and move the point. I will do this with the other part of the engine as well. I plan to rotate the propeller around the central point, so I need a 3D environment for it. I will open the settings of the layer and check out the empty box here. It will appear a cube icon, like this one. Now I have the 3D environment. Before I start with animation, I will make the same center for these settings. Now the angle of the movement will be perfect. Ok, I will create the first keyframe on the first frame, for the X rotation. I need a full circle movement around the central point, so the value of the second keyframe will be 1. The animation stops after a second, I change it with the loop code. Hold Alt key and hit the stopwatch icon. Cool! Check out the beauty of the animation. I will repeat the steps with the upper part of the engine as well. The angle of the second part will be 19 degrees. I want to provide more space for new parts. I will make a copy of these parts. I need 4 parts for good animation of the engine. Here I enter the loop code. Now I'll copy these parts. Here I will change 0 to 180. Delete the second keyframe just in case and enter 1 again. Here will be minus 19, instead 19. Cool! The engine started to work. I will select the engine layers and I will hide them all. Now it's time for the waves. Here I will create the first keyframe. Here will be the second keyframe. Check out this detail here. It should be the same for the first and the second keyframe. I think that I got it. I will enter the loop code. Beautiful! The movement of the waves can be even better if I add a dip of the fill. So I will copy the layer and delete the second position keyframe. I will move up the duplicated layer a bit. Hit T key for the opacity settings. It can be 50%. For the second keyframe, I will do the same as I did with the first wave layer. Oh yeah, it's perfect! Now I will animate the reflection of the windows. Click the P key and create the first keyframe. I will move the layer and create the second keyframe. Enter the loop code. I want the reflection just inside the windows. I will copy the windows layer and use it as a mask. The duplicated layer should be above the reflection. Now I will select the glow layer and choose here the alpha matte. Cool, that's it! The glow animation can be slower, so I will move the keyframe a bit. I 
I can select all windows layer and make the pre-composition. After that, I will copy the window and voila! Now I have two windows. Beautiful! Now we can animate the bubbles. Here I will create the first keyframe. For the second keyframe, I will move the bubble a bit. I can add the opacity as well. Don't forget to insert the loop code. The water bubble layer should be below the submarine layer. Now I will copy the bubble layer, move it a bit and change the position of the bubble keyframes. I can do it one more time. Yeah, I finished the complete animation and it looks like this. If you like the tutorial, smash that like button and subscribe because the best is yet to come. Peace.